Why, folks, and welcome back to another video of Donna Man. I'm Captain Kent. Super happy to have you here. Uh, we are move. We have moved on into the Copper Age, and uh, my deepest regrets to you, folks, for that are watching. I uh, again w had forgot to re hit record on the video and was just yapping away, thinking I was making a video, and I wasn't. I was just talking to myself. So, um, what we did it, when we unlocked the Copper Age is it, it unlocked the workshop, and we started placing that. It unlocked the metalsmiths, which we can start making some copper um, uh, equipment, you know, copper swords and, you know, that stuff, copper. And then the pit furnace, which is where we will be making the copper ore into copper ingots. Uh, let's make sure we are staying on top of sticks. Yeah, it's so frustrating when, uh, you know, you go, go to make a video and, and uh, prove to be a stupid knucklehead and not, uh, hit the, uh, record button. So, uh, so yeah, we are, we are just repeating everything that I've done. Uh, once again, hopefully I will lay it out uh, like I had it before I I shifted the stable just a little bit you know there were there was one here and I just moved it over here and then added another one uh, let's see if I did anything else oh I, I shaved this plot of I think this is barley yeah barley I shaved it down just a little bit because we've got plenty of grain and straw uh, everything else is about the same. Nothing really new going on. Uh, did I place my copper mine already? Well, I did in the last episode. I just, uh, flint mine's about empty. Well, not in the last episode, but, uh, when I thought I was recording, I put, yeah, there it is. I placed this copper mine here, and... We're going to go ahead and place another one just to give them options. And since our flint mine is about empty, we're going to go ahead and place another flint mine. And I'll do this one right here. Boom. Thank you. Wonderful. Let's get out of primal. Oh, and then there was something else that I needed to uh, construct, and that is the charcoal pit. We're going to place one there, flip this one around, and oh, one there. Alright, ah, oh, cool, they got that done. Let's go ahead and turn the copper stuff on. Uh, we're going to turn bows on. I got fishing poles uh, to make now. How are we doing on sledges? I'll go ahead and turn that on. And they can make sledges at uh, their convenience instead of me micromanaging it. So we're going to turn this off. Something else I did. Uh, when I thought I was recording, but wasn't, was explaining that I was I had turned the skin and leather outfits off. Uh, don't really need it since we've got the linen and wool outfits, and these are way more stylish. So we are going to start looking good instead of in our prehistoric skin outfits. That's no good. Oh, and I added uh, some more huts here. Two more huts. Population is just grooving right along. Oh man, they got uh, those charcoal pits done quickly. Okay, uh, logs. That was um, the other item that uh, we needed to deal with. I need to get a workplace going now that we've got uh, a good uh, use for those logs i.e. the uh, charcoal pit we will start clear cutting some forest we'll start with that area right there 
Excuse me. Uh, all right, let's go through everything. Make sure that we've got everything that uh, we need to be uh, laid out and being done is being done. Oh yeah, I added another uh, mortar here just to help keep the bread and uh, the flour and the bread production up. Oh, and then something else I did is I can find the button for it. Do -ba -do -ba -do. I'll eventually get it. No, I won't. I'll never remember these buttons. Where's my limits at? There it is. Thank you. Nope, that's the, this is what I want. Oh, I, I upped my weapons up to 75% instead of 50%. Uh, just so I could deal with the raiders a lot better. And, and went through, adjusted a lot of these numbers kind of to be more in line with my population. So, yeah, got that going. Um, maybe. Can I even come up with 280 points? Uh, no. Not even going to mess with that right now. So, oh, okay, cool. We can do uh, fruit, or fruit tree domestication. Man, that's a shame that, I, I, man, I wish I was recording earlier. There was some good footage on that. Some dynamite stuff. It was excellent. All right, take that pear tree down, and I don't know if I even really want to deal with um, planting any of that stuff yet. But I do want to get my people on logs and sticks because they, for some reason, just. Uh, are weird with sticks. Alright. Are they uh, chopping any trees down yet? <gasps> A mammoth! I am hunting that. Uh, when I wasn't recording. Thought I was. Uh, I did uh, go on a small mammoth hunt. As I had mentioned that I hadn't seen any mammoths in a long time. Uh, but I hadn't gotten the, you know, mammoths have gone extinct message. So, I went and ran around on the map looking for some mammoths and found a few. And uh, went out and hunted them. It was fun. And it produced uh, only one, one dead villager. And a whole lot of meat. <gasps> Look, there's a couple more of those uh, mammoths. I'm, you know what? I'm going after them just so I can get the uh, technology points. Yeah, I'll do that one too. Mammoth attack. Yeah, I know. You... Mammoth is probably very upset and is going to kill my dude. Yeah, you killed my dude. Ah, man, I'm re-hunting you. You're not going to get away with that. No way. No way am I going to let you get away with that. No, 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 no. What are you running off to? Going to get a flint knife. Cool. Alright, alright. Grooving right along. Let's crank that speed back up. And what are you doing? Uh, uh, going after the mammoth. Good job, old man. Good job. Make me proud. All right, let's uh, mine ore. Mine ore. What would? Why would I place a work area to mine ore? when I can just place... Oh my goodness! That mammoth is a jerk! I am... 
gonna feast on your bones tonight, nasty old mammoth. That was cruel. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure with the mine ore thing whether that would like mine anything. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't know. Don't. Don't. Uh, don't know. Don't need it, cause I have the mines available. So who knows? All right. Certainly not me. Looking at everything, looks pretty groovy. Crank the speed back up. Might need to build some rock piles since. Uh, I am producing things that uh, would be stored in rock piles. But we will cross that path when uh, when we need to. Mammoth attack. Did you guys finally kill that mammoth or not? I hope you did. Mouflon? Nope, those are goats. Don't want the goats. Don't need the goats. Ah, this is kind of a cool little animation. Let's go ahead and watch them shear a sheep. Yeah, yeah. They just do it with a knife. Cool. Make sure you keep that sheep's head above the water line there. Wouldn't want you to kill a sheep while you're trying to just get some wool from them. Yeah. I should think about doing some more watchtowers. Shouldn't I? Yes, I should. But let's gather those sticks first. that stick and those sticks you guys uh, bringing in the logs still what are you carrying some a linen outfit weird do I have my limits on logs set in a manner that is unfriendly Yes, I do. Let's get those logs up to 20. And all of that other stuff is just fine, I think. Uh, yeah, okay. That all looks good to me. Animal has gone extinct. Yeah! How about that? So that happens in the Copper Age... Uh, mammoths and woolly rhinos will go extinct um, so yeah if you're playing the game make sure you get your uh, woolly mammoth and uh, woolly rhino hunting on well before the copper age so you will miss out on that opportunity to do it and yeah you're gonna want those uh, tech tree points All right, workload is good. Let's see, where was it? Woolly, yeah. I didn't even uh, get a single woolly rhino this whole game. How about that? And how many of the, oh, a 9 out of 10 of the mammoth. That's not too bad. Groovy, groovy. Oh, I need to find a wolf and kill a wolf. Just so that I... Sheep has contracted a disease. What's up, man? And you all are inside your stable, so I can't, uh, I can't go in there and see how you're doing. Oh, my sheep population has dropped. So maybe they are killing the uh, the infected sheep. Oh, all right. Well, let's take a peek real quick. For is that a wolf? 
it sure is the mean nasty wolf so I'm gonna try to hunt it just to get that uh, tech point well, I didn't really expect to see many animals in in the winter time but ooh, what do we got here ibex those are goats don't really uh, the goats are cool but yeah not gonna do it so what else we got over here any the mouflon is the sheep that I want I want your sheep there's some sheep I'll take those three little sheepy sheeps anything over here nope nope and and more nope all right crank the speed up Yep, probably going to be a shorter episode than what I normally like to do because of uh, yeah, me being a knucklehead and not recording when I thought I was. Alright, got that knowledge point. And uh, yeah, we're not going to unlock the any of these in the Neolithic era. Just don't really need them at this point. I might go back and unlock them later. Um but it's just not something that's uh, essential. So we will continue with ride domestication and then move on into the Bronze Age after that. So uh, I'm going to get two more points and then unlock the rye and call it an episode. So how are we doing over here? Everybody looks like they're doing their job. Everybody's happy. Thoreg has contracted a disease. Well, that's not good. Hopefully, uh, you're just going to lay down and get better. Yes, I do. I hope you do. Let's see. Thoreg. Oh, man. Your health is going down. Oh, you're a young little kid, too. wonder if that's going to kill him. Let's see how far his disease, his health goes down. Oh, okay. So it just takes him down to uh, where they're close to death, and then uh, they can start healing up again. Uh, we survived another winter. One more knowledge point. Um, what are you making? Making a sledge. Cool. Thank you. Uh, tree domestication. Because pear trees are pretty. Is that really the only place I can... Do I want to place... Um, yeah, why not? And these actually, no, canceled that. I don't think that the, the trees, the fruit trees and stuff like that need to be inside the village. You know, the same with the fields. Once, once I kind of get my, um, uh, defensive fortification wall perimeter decided, um, you know, all my fields and stuff like that can be on the outside of that. They don't absolutely need to be inside my village. So, uh, yeah, let's um, let's just start. That's a service tree. Two service trees. Let's just call it a service tree. We'll do some chestnuts. How about two chestnuts there? And... Let's try to find two uh, a place for two cherry trees. <clears throat> Looks like I'm going to have to take some of these trees down. So let's cancel that. Chop that down. High priority. Can I set these to high priority? No, I can't. How's our sticks? We're doing okay on the sticks for now. Oh. Speed, crank you up. I 
keep working these trees. So eventually I'm going to need to build a wall. I'm pretty sure my wall is going to go right behind these stables. Ah, dog has been struck by lightning. Uh, which reminds me, I, when, the, when I wasn't recording, thinking that I was, uh, somebody got struck by lightning right in the middle of the village. Right, right there. Boom, struck them dead. They fell flat on their face. And uh, if I had been recording, it would have captured it. I mean, it was a strike of lightning, big old crack. And I got that message that somebody had died from lightning, and uh, <laughs> there it was. So, uh, yeah. Uh, just <laughs> so frustrating to forget to do the simplest things like record. But it is what it is. Alright, let's get back into cherry tree building. Ooh, lots of cherry trees there. Can I get any up on here? Nope. Alright, two of them there. Boom. And two pear trees. And we'll do these two pears there. And then this gives us a little bit of cushion in case we do want to go ahead and bring the field back out into this area. Perfect plan. I think that it is. Oh, look at that. Population reached 50. And that gave us some more points. Rye. So now we can uh, start. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Raider attack. Raider attack. Where are you guys coming from? And how many are you? My, two, four, six, eight, nine of them. All right, call the people. Everybody, get ready. So this is like the second or third attack coming from this direction. Uh, that tells me I want to build uh, more watchtowers in this. Uh, this area right here so we'll put those we'll start with two there and looks like I'm gonna have to make some adjustments to the field here rawr, rawr. get them guys get them man Dog has been killed. Three has been killed. Two dogs. Wow. Wow. They did a number on my dog population. Awesome job, everybody. You guys are looking stylish in your linen outfits. Yeah. Looking real stylish. When you're that stylish, you just cannot lose. Alright, so they're now going to the dead and collecting the bodies and all that stuff. Let's uh, at least harvest those dogs. Get something out of them. Ooh, what a fun way to end the episode. Alright, folks. That is going to wrap up the episode, and we have just pretty much conquered the Copper Age in one sitting. It really only had three things to unlock that I wanted to unlock. Everything else is just kind of fluff. Uh, we might come back to it later, but uh, I want to get uh, prepared to deal with these raiders, you know, to where uh, we smoke them every single time they come to us. We're just going to destroy them like that. All right, everybody, I am so happy that you're here. Hope it's been entertaining for you. Now's a perfect time to click the like button, subscribe if you're not already, throw a comment down below, and I hope I get to see you again soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.